good to see you all uh, on this meeting. I'm very happy to, to have this uh, opportunity again to meet a personality, a person, special person, someone special uh, to talk uh, about entrepreneurship because this is the general subject of, of uh, our meeting. Uh, today we, we are hosting Mi, Mi, Miroslav Mirek Urban. Mirek, Mirek. Mirek Urban, who tells about himself on your LinkedIn profile, I read, mm -hmm. oh. uh, that you are a storyteller. We'll come back to it because yeah, I have a, some, some questions about it. You yes. are also an editor, a writer, an author of the book. Yes. But all in all, but all in all you describe yourself as a freelancer, so you're a free artist. Yes, yes. And I'm also a psychologist and I'm also a juggler and I'm also an uh, improviser, uh, comedy improviser. And the father. Uh, and the father, yes. Okay, uh, good. And the journey lover. So, yeah, a, a lot of things to do in my life. Good. So let's begin with uh, something simple. Uh, let's start with... Uh... The question that we have both received, and I think it's a good starting point for the discussion. In your opinion, how would you describe a success in general? Well, um, when I saw this uh, question or uh, heard uh, this question uh, from, from you uh, yesterday uh, as a beginning question, I started to think and, I, uh, and I'm sure that the success 20 years ago when I started to, to do my own business would be something else that success now. And um, that was like a huge um, uh, uh, idea for me that uh, for me today success is uh, that I, uh, I do what I want to do, but uh, after this 20 years, I finally find what I want to do. And uh, I have a great satisfaction and I, I I do what I want to do, plus uh, I, I still have uh, or fulfill my mission uh, as a psychologist, as a person who, uh, who helps uh, people. Uh, so, yeah, mm, and it's not, mm, and it's all, of course, uh, now, because uh, 20 years ago, uh, the success would be uh, earning a lot of money, but now uh, is to um, to have a happy life with my family and to to travel and to still do what I want to do and uh, and still love it. But it, uh, it of course uh, changed during the last twenty years. I started with uh, another point, and now I do uh, a little bit something else. But it uh, it all mixed uh, together, and it it was brilliant. Okay, if you would think about yourself, uh, I don't know, how, when, when do you find the point, uh, the moment you started creating your career as a successful person? If you mm -hmm. would go back to that very point uh, in your mm -hmm. history, uh, how would you identify it? Do you, uh, are you able to say, okay, this is the, the moment I'm being successful or I start being successful, my, my successful lifestyle, my successful path, etc., etc.? Or is it like a point in your analysis when you think about your past? Uh, I, I think uh, when I was uh, finishing my, because uh, uh, I'm a psychologist, and uh, when I was finishing my, my studies at uh, Catholic University of Lublin, uh, I, um, I still didn't know what to do. Uh, and it, uh, but I always wanted to do something uh, and I'm a little bit crazy person, and I, I was looking for, uh, for something I, um, I'm really curious, and I, I really want to do. But I had no idea whether I want to be a psychologist or whoever. But probably I, I wanted to to be a, a trainer. But mm -hmm. uh, by chance, by chance, uh, my my friend, uh, and this is the the moment when everything started. And I always tell people about this. Uh, that uh, that there are some moments in your life, that there are some people in your life, that there are some, I don't know, books or meetings or uh, uh, talking, uh, uh, that, that you uh, will hear something or you will meet somebody who will change your life. And my friend, I will show you now, my friend taught me to juggle. 
three balls. Uh, he came back from uh, from holidays. I'm not sure. Sorry, sorry, I have to interrupt you. I'm not sure if it's just me, I, but I cannot see you. Oh, uh, I can see you and I can see uh, me. Uh, okay. what, what about uh, other people? Mm, I cannot see. I cannot see. Yes, I agree. We can we can see you. You can't see me. Okay, I disappeared because I'm always a um, beginner of uh, illusion. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> illusion is, but it, it wasn't uh, okay. Uh, maybe I'll shut off the camera and uh, and now anything changed. I still see the blank screen. Maybe you have different camera also in your computer and you have to switch the device. Mm, no, for sure not, because it's it's in my laptop. Should I? Mm, but uh, have you seen me in the beginning? Let's switch back to Polish. It will be easier. Ja cię nie widzę od samego początku. Ja widzę biały ekran. Mm -hmm. I z tego, co mi pisze Łukasz, to jednym okiem patrzy na telefon, bo mi też napisał, że też Cię nie widzi. Tak, zgadza się, jest tylko czarna ramka. Możliwe, że ikona w Teamsie kamery jest wyłączona całkowicie. Mm -hmm. yy, to nie wiem, co bym tutaj miał zrobić w tym momencie. Wiesz co, ja udostępnię swój ekran, ja Ci pokażę, o czym ja myślę, że się może dziać, dobrze? Mm -hmm. A ja nie mogę udostępnić. Czekajcie, bo ja jestem zalogowany na jakieś inne konto. Może ja się wyłączę z tego konta, wyloguję się i, i po prostu jeszcze raz na to spotkanie spróbuję przyjść. No czekaj, a spróbuj najpierw wcisnąć ikonę więcej. Mm -hmm. Tutaj Dobra. masz ustawienia i w ustawieniach masz ustawienia urządzenia. Dobra. I na dole masz ustawienia wideo. Powinno być taka lista rozwijalna kamera. Kamera FaceTime. Mm -hmm. I zobacz, czy masz tam więcej pozycji. Nie, mam tylko kamera FaceTime. No to faktycznie coś jest nie tak. Dobra, spróbuję się wylogować z tego, gdzie jestem zalogowany i spróbuję się y, jeszcze raz zalogować. Tak? Spróbujmy. Ok, so, so let's uh, have a short break, dear students. Uh, I know that you are from different uh, countries, from different uh, studies. I was wondering, uh, Maybe you should suggest me also some questions for, for our uh, guest uh, because in general uh, the discussion will be about the success of entrepreneurship. Maybe any one of you uh, is currently under some kind of uh, project or some kind of business development. Raise your hand or just give me a sign. No. <laughs> Okay, in that case, we, we wait for, for our guest. I can remember I also uh, some time ago, like two years ago, uh, also Bürokare from our university asked me, uh, oh, there is some image, but I'm not sure if this is what you want to show us. Because I can see only lines. I'm afraid your camera is dead or going to die soon. And we do not hear you. Yes, now, now you hear me, but... Now, uh... Yes, we still cannot see you. <laughs> yes, uh, but I know that with Teams, uh, unfortunately, the camera is sometimes doing like this okay. in at Zoom, at Zoom at other uh, places. Uh, Google Meets, it's OK. Teams hates me. So, so, so we have to skip the part with juggling. Yes, 
Yes. So, <laughs> uh, so I think uh, we'll we'll <laughs> leave it like this. Mm, and uh, yeah, mm, teams hates me, and I hate teams. Uh, so, so the question uh, was uh, the moment in your past, the moment in yeah. your history. Uh, what was the turning point in, for yeah, you? The turning point was uh, was that I I learned to juggle. My friend came from holidays, and he learned me to juggle, and. Uh, and I started to, for me, it was, uh, I was training like the two weeks to, to succeed it. And then uh, it was so great that that, uh, that I started to, to train it by myself. I stayed uh, a lot uh, at front of my um, computer and I ordered some books and some articles from, from newspapers. And I didn't know why I do it. I just uh, do it. And my friends from uh, university said, hey, are you stupid? You are a psychologist. You will become psychologist. Be more, you know, um, uh, behave <laughs> like a normal person. Be an adult. And, yeah, be an adult. Not a, are you going to be a clown or work in a circus? You're you are going to be psychologist. And I said, I don't care because it's so great. And then uh, some uh, uh, because uh, I found some uh, ideas about juggling in uh, in the internet that juggling is uh, um, is used to uh, to help people build self confidence and it's um, it's uh, it is um, used in uh, some uh, workshops at uh, Stanford University, IBM uh, company or uh, MIT um, uh, University that people learn juggling and uh, uh, and talk about. Um, uh, uh, goals, setting goals, and uh, and uh, making uh, failures, and and some other things, and uh, about projects. Uh, so they're holding a lot of uh, projects, and I uh, and then uh, some uh, teachers asked me to 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 let them uh, to to teach them to juggle, and then uh, I met uh, at the university Pavel Fortuna. Maybe you you know him, or maybe not, yeah, yeah. and and. Uh, with uh, with my uh, professor um, uh, who died lately, uh, Piotr Francis, we we had some meetings uh, in English when we uh, uh, were talking about some other things uh, which we like, and I taught everybody to juggle, and then I started to to work with uh, Pavel uh, at the, at some. Um, workshops uh, for business and I uh, I, uh, I wrote uh, one book <laughs> and then uh, another book with Pavel and uh, another book uh, about juggling and uh, and I got into the uh, uh, the training uh, business and uh, and and I uh, and I set up uh, my uh, juggling uh, shop uh, internet shop so uh, you know th that was one thing which I um, uh, started to do, and then suddenly it uh, appeared that it's my uh, it's my life, and uh, then then it of course uh, started to change. Uh, I I uh, now I do more uh, more trainings. I do a little bit of juggling, but I believe that the uh, success is uh, is is not uh, also the the one moment when you feel something, but uh, but it's a it's a journey. It's uh, you, you you don't know when you feel succeed or you you feel that uh, you you gain success uh, I did you say that you work do you call what you are doing in your free time like all those activities that you have set the, mm -hmm. the points that we have set in the beginning can you call all of this your work uh, it's, it's it's funny because it's all my work and it's all uh, my hobbies and it all um, uh, like I told you that well in the beginning I, I was uh, when I was in secondary school and uh, uh, during the university I was a little bit crazy people uh, knew that I'm crazy but I had no idea that this, my craziness will get me to some point because I started with juggling and uh, and I and I and I have a great one day training with I teach business to, to juggle with three balls, three scarf, scarves and so on. But uh, I talk with them about, like I said, about failures, about goals, about uh, um, and mm. beliefs. Uh, about beliefs, about uh, fear uh, of doing something uh, else, about uh, managing uh, the change. So, uh, so it's crazy. Then I, when I had uh, uh, a little bit time, I I went to uh, 
workshops about illusion, about magic, uh, let's call it. And then I found out that uh, that illusion, that magic uh, disappearing and appearing and all the, this kind of stuff is a brilliant metaphor of, um, of uh, psychology of attention. So, uh, so again, it, it was uh, crazy for me that uh, I found uh, in magic again psychology and, and and working with because for me uh, uh, this um, magic man this uh, illusionist is uh, uh, is like our brain uh, it shows us where to go and uh, we go uh, there without uh, knowing that we are going to after somebody and not uh, ourselves and then i found the uh, 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 improvisation, uh, comedy improvisation, th theater improvisation. Um, and now I'm, I'm uh, in a group, uh, improv improvisation group, Puławiacze uh, Pereo Improv Teatr. And it's, it, it again, appear, it, it appeared that uh, improvisation is one, for me, is one of, but I had no idea about, it, is one of the best uh, ideas and one of the best training for me as a as a as a trainer as a people uh, as a person who goes on stage to who goes on on uh, to, to to work with people because it prepares me for uh, for like unexpected yeah for for uh, improvisation is when, when we go on the stage and people uh, uh, tell us what we should do or what we should tell about so this is nothing else that again uh, managing with change with the, the, the working with creativity and all kind of stuff so uh, so this is this is work and also this is uh, this is a, a hobby this is what i love to do and then it appeared when uh, i had a, a big the um, um, zawodowe po angielsku burnout i had a big really big burnout uh, i think it was like uh, 2012 2013 Oh, uh, it was, uh, I, I worked too much uh, because uh, trainings and uh, juggling uh, shop. Uh, so I, uh, I worked uh, twice <laughs> as, I, as I should. And then uh, I, mm, I found out that uh, I, I started to think, uh, what, sh what should I do with my life? Or what, mm, uh, what can I do? Or uh, what should I do that, uh, that it cannot burn me so, so much? And then I found out that uh, everything I do, uh, because after the burnout, I, I found the, in the, uh, this um, the, uh, magic and this uh, improvisation. And then I found out that uh, all the time what I'm doing is um, getting people's attention. Uh, and I go on stage and, uh, and make people uh, listening to me, make people uh, be, uh, be prepared for this, what, what I tell. Because juggling illusion and, uh, and improvisation is, is all about uh, creating zaskoczenie. Um, um, Surprise. Uh, su surprise, yeah, thank you. Uh, creating surprise and and uh, getting attention. Uh, so so then I, I, I found the uh, uh, storytelling techniques and uh, ev uh, everything about storytelling. And now I finally uh, found, uh, yeah, I, I connected the dots and now I know that I found something which I, uh, I'm in love with. So it's, um, I'm a trainer for the uh, public speaking and a trainer for the uh, storytelling, but it uh, it finally appeared after all of uh, these years of uh, of working. So now I feel I uh, I found this success, uh, but it's another success because it's the the last the, the, all during these um, twenty years of my uh, work. And there were uh, other successes. Uh, now it's another success. So I think uh, that uh, we we are still in progress. And uh, well, maybe uh, I can feel it that uh, it's you can't tell that you gain success because I have no idea what will be in five years, in next five years, in ten in the next years. Maybe I will be uh, better. Uh, better storyteller, I will be better magician and, and, and so on. So I keep on uh, going. 
I wanted to, to catch this point at which you are talking about your passion and your work and connecting the dots, because there is mm -hmm. this saying that if you do what you love, you do not work any day more. Meaning if we work our life, if we do uh, our passion, if we fulfill our passion, then actually it's not working. Mm -hmm. It's self-development, etc., etc. This is something that more or less you have said, but I, uh, all your story sounds like uh, almost a fairy tale. You had your hobby and then the hobby evolved and so on and so on. What about the students or the people who are listening to us and they are on the fourth or, or fifth year and they are still struggling to find their path? What suggestions would you have? Uh, is it is there a time during the university education that it is too late to start to find your catch? No, I, I'm I'm sure it's it's never too too late. And even if you don't find it during the university, maybe you will find it later, because uh, it's uh, it's uh, I, I had this opportunity that I met uh, my friend Wojtek who taught me to juggle, and I met uh, Pavel Fortuna and uh, and some other people uh, during the the university. But uh, later I met uh, also a lot of uh, great people. So uh, I think the most important thing is to uh, be aware that uh, that uh, aware of of the moments, of the meetings, of the of the people, um, of some moments uh, we, which can uh, change your uh, maybe not your life, but but your uh, thinking or something else. Uh, so uh, be aware. And uh, and uh, another thing is to do something uh, i mean go somewhere meet some people uh, not not only go to to party but it's also a great opportunity to meet some meet some people but to do some uh, 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 volunteer work to 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 go to some uh, conferences the, to do something by your own uh, I don't know, write something, uh, show something, make a band, uh, do whatever you uh, you need to do. Because uh, when I see the people who are doing something uh, for themselves for uh, or for other people, they 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 now have a, a, a good jobs. They have a, a great uh, amount of people who they are working with. But when I see uh, people who are all the time uh, preparing for um, exams who were learning and learning and learning and uh, and they were afraid of doing something else than learning and going to the libraries sometimes they have some work but sometimes they still uh, look for for something to uh, to do it, it depends if you want to of course to to you want you want to set up your own company or you want to um, well uh, that's uh, that's also uh, very important uh, what you want to to do with your life but uh, but for sure if you don't do anything and you just sit on you know TikTok and uh, Facebook uh, okay you will be great uh, great person who knows uh, a lot of about facebook and TikTok, but uh, nothing else uh, so would you put networking and all the social aspects of uh, being in in your 20s on the top of all other experiences uh, yes, uh, for sure. Going uh, uh, I was uh, traveling a lot uh, so um, this is maybe very important. I, I, I remember uh, I started to, to travel, going to mountains uh, when I was in secondary school. Then uh, I, when I uh, get to the university, me and my friend went to the um, well, like travel, well, let's say all pro almost uh, all around Europe, but it was 1997. So we had no idea about Europe. 1997, we we could go to the European Union, but it was uh, still Schengen uh, border. Uh, but we were going there uh, each hiking, uh, so uh, auto stop, and we we go all around uh, like uh, Germany, uh, Netherlands, uh, so Holland and Belgium, and and a little bit France, and then again Germany, and then. Um, uh, 
uh, Czech uh, and Slovakia and we came back home, back home after one month and for two weeks we didn't call our uh, parents. So when I came back, uh, there was uh, uh, a holy cross in my room and uh, all, everybody was praying uh, <laughs> for me that probably I'm dead. But <laughs> I remember all these uh, things, all uh, like uh, travels like this or trying to, uh, to, to do something. Um, I, I traveled a lot by hitchhiking in, in Poland as well and uh, still was going to, to mountains. And so I think it all prepared me to be uh, to not be afraid of things, not be afraid of meeting new people, because when you are hiking, you meet new people and you never know how it will end. Uh, Especially if, if you are hitchhiking in 1997, no, no mobile phone, no smartphone in your pocket. <laughs> Yes, but but I after this travel next year I was each hiking uh, from uh, Krakow to um, to seaside in Poland and in uh, uh, from Krakow to, to Warsaw I met a person who bought me a meal in McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's was you know really great thing that times those times and then uh, from. Uh, after uh, in Warsaw, I uh, I met a, a person who took me to the uh, seaside, and he said, "Hey, I'm going to collect some money for my company, and uh, I have nobody uh, with me, and uh, I'm alone, and uh, uh, it's it's very sad because I will be there four days. If you want, I have some money from my company to uh, to buy uh, 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 a room. So he uh, he rented me a room. He he was." at uh, his um, uh, uh, wife's uh, house there and I was uh, collecting the, uh, um, I visited all the seaside from uh, Kołobrzeg to Krynica Morska for uh, four days uh, with him. So, so uh, th that was times uh, who prepared me to, to, to do something uh, with my life. So I was not afraid to go to some conference to uh, to meet some new people to, uh, to to go to some workshops and i think this is very very uh, important nowadays uh, a lot of people either uh, they are very open and do what i uh, tell now to to do or they see uh, sit in in their uh, homes and uh, they can spend uh, I, I know because sometimes i i'm on this horrible Facebook and uh, other social media a lot. Uh, I spent a lot of times and I know that uh, we can do nothing in the real world. We just uh, can sit and uh, uh, at the, um, in social media. So do something, go somewhere, uh, meet uh, new, new people, make a blog. I don't know, make some video with, with, with your friend about something interesting or, or about something stupid. Uh, but uh, connections, connections are everything. Uh, meeting people, meeting ideas, uh, it's uh, it's one of, of the best thing. Or maybe you are an inventor that uh, you can sit alone and make a, a startup, which will be, you know, uh, one million uh, dollars worth of, uh, after one month. So yeah, that would be great. But if, uh, if you don't feel that you are this person, do anything, do something, go and uh, connect with the people. L like what, 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 what Marta uh, do now. I remember one, uh, another thing, after the uh, fourth year of university, I had this one year break at the university and I went uh, first to US to work. Uh, it was 2000, 2001 uh, or 2002. And then I went to uh, uh, United Kingdom. We we couldn't end. It, it was 2002. So we as Poland entered the European Union in 2004. So still it was very hard to uh, for me to to do to, to find work there and so on. But I did it. And after I came back there, wow, uh, the last year I started to do so many jobs at university. Uh, I was working with some in some magazine, uh, Spielka, uh, writing some articles. I, uh, I set up uh, uh, with, with some other people. Uh, um, uh, um, oh my God, I forgot the, the name, but, but uh, we started to, to do some uh, workshops at the university. So I gained this again, this power and this um, uh, 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 courage to do something else because 
I, before I was, you know, I was, I was very shy, uh, uh, as I see myself now. Uh, so, so try to find uh, something which which will help you to to gain courage. Because if you want to be uh, entrepreneur, I hate this word because it's very hard word to to pronounce. It's a tricky one. Yeah, uh, entrepreneur. Uh, if you want to make your your company, you have to be very uh, brave. You have to have courage to 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 do to to work with the the risk, with the failure, with the mistakes. And uh, even if you gain successes, uh, if you gain success, you, you need to be uh, uh, very wise uh, what to do with it. So. It all sounds nice uh, when you talk about it. It sounds like an easy path to, to go. But when I was 20 something, one of the least things I knew what I was what I want to do in my life. Mm -hmm. Would you as a psychologist give the advice to, to our listeners or viewers uh, how to what to do to understand, to find your talents or maybe to self evaluate? You know, this is a great question because w when you started to to ask, I started to 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 think about my uh, ideas and my talents, uh, which I had no idea about and nobody told me uh, about. So uh, the one thing I knew that I uh, uh, I knew that uh, I have a sense of humor, and when I come to the parties, people say, hey, it's Mirek, it will be going funny and crazy. And th th that was my talent, but I didn't know what is the, this talent. And uh, th th that was the talent to, to communicate, to, uh, to to talk with people. But later I found this and it was the talent to uh, to talk, to, to make people laugh, but to also to make people think when I mixed it with uh, psychology uh, but now mm, I I, uh, mm, I came back to the uh, secondary school uh, and my mm, I was very good at uh, writing uh, at the Polish lessons so I wrote uh, this uh, it's Polish in um, we, we called it the Pracowania uh, essays probably yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, essays I, I I knew how to do it I uh, I, I had the really uh, high marks on it and during the uh, the major uh, exam uh, how is it called like this in English uh, uh, I, I had also the like the the best mark and now I see that that, that was my talent who nobody saw uh, and uh, there was um, uh, it, it was when I finished the university then it started to uh, come to to Poland this um, uh, Doradcy Zawodowi, this uh, advisor. Advisor, work advisor, yeah. yeah. Yeah, work advisors or career advisors. Yeah, uh, but it, it started in, um, I remember I finished my university and I uh, really, I, I, I go to the, after university, um, um, this uh, course of uh, being uh, such a career uh, advisor. But so now uh, it's great and then you can go now and ask people about it. Yeah. So like uh, this, what uh, Marta uh, do? Yeah. At, at the uh, at this uh, place uh, at the cool uh, career uh, center, and um, you can you can go and 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 ask uh, what what talent you have because I had I had no idea. Uh, this this juggling uh, just came by chance, and I grabbed this chance. Uh, but uh, not not everyone can grab this chance. So uh, so, uh, but but uh, that times there was nobody. Well, maybe there were uh, the, there were some people, but I had no idea uh, who can uh, who can it be, uh, who can uh, work with you, who could work with me. So uh, I needed to to find uh, to find it by by myself. And also, it's. Uh, because uh, when, when I look, would at you say? Wait. So would you say that the key point nowadays is to f find the help of someone who can advise you or can evaluate you as a person, as your talents? 
Uh, yes, uh, but but not. I don't believe this person only. <laughs> I mean, uh, first of all, be aware of uh, yourself. So uh, look at your uh, your talents. Uh, ju ju just like uh, now, I I see uh, that like my my sense of humor, which was uh, uh, with me all the time. We, uh, from the primary school, secondary school, and so on. Uh, it was it was something that that I had, and people saw it. Maybe uh, today I would be a stand-up uh, comedy uh, or uh, stand-upper uh, or something like this. When if somebody uh, could uh, you know uh, saw me earlier, uh, but uh, but also um, uh, uh, so be aware of your talents and uh, go to ask somebody about your talents but but, but first of all uh, see yourself uh, what what your talents are but also what uh, your maybe how it called disadvantages or uh, maybe other words what are you afraid of uh, mm -hmm. because uh, also if you have uh, in, for example if you have a sense of humor and you are good at uh, at, it, at communication, but you are afraid, for example, uh, of I don't know stages of uh, of meeting new people, and you feel good at the at some um, I don't know uh, uh, crowd which you know. So maybe it's also uh, good to uh, to find how to how to solve this problem because if you have some advantages but you have some disadvantages so these disadvantages can uh, you know stop you from uh, your uh, advantages so uh, th this is uh, and that was the problem i had i thought that uh, uh, you know this uh, sense of humor and uh, openness for for everything I, I i thought i have everything to be to become a great uh, trainer a, a, a great person who works with other people but then when I uh, started to do this, oh my God, it, it was it was horrible. It was it was awful. Uh, it appeared that uh, I had no uh, uh, competences for uh, for doing this. It was great when it was, you know, at the, at the party, at the meeting, non-formal uh, stuff. But when I started to, I remember uh, even during my uh, uh, at fifth year of psychology, I uh, I was asked to to do some trainings for the volunteers at the uh, at the university, the people who were working with in in a shop when they were selling some uh, t-shirts of university and stuff, and I was doing for them three hours of uh, and client. Uh, uh, working with client uh, uh, workshop with uh, my other friend uh, Ida. Uh, oh my God, it was horrible. I was I was shaking. I was you know I almost uh, faint. Uh, and then I found out that okay, the sense of humor and the willingness to do something is not everything. But you, uh, I I I still have some uh, things to to work on. And I decided to, to work on it, and now now it, now it's okay. But so it's it's very good to to find your talents, but don't uh, find also what you are afraid of because in, in, and in, even even it's. So what do you mean that the, that things that we are afraid of or our disadvantages can block our our development? Yes, and and sometimes I think uh, I would say that. Sometimes if you have a lot of advantages, but one strong disadvantage, uh, uh, it can well maybe not ruin, maybe not ruin your uh, uh, your career or, or life, but it can stop you for for some I don't know time for some years to uh, to really open for for something to to be uh, to be open to to go somewhere else and uh, wider. Okay, what advice would you give uh, to, to young people? Because there is there are gr different groups of students, I think. I was this kind of person that I was uh, more pragmatic into my choices. I was more mm -hmm. thinking about uh, possibilities for work rather than going to studies or university for the course that I really love, something that I really love. There is also a third group. Uh, there are people who 
do one particular course because they mm. already have like a family business, like an mm. agency or office, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Would you rather suggest students to uh, go to university, find courses, and so on related with their hobbies, or to be more pragmatic, think about the possibilities for job, and in the meantime, what you have said, go networking, go develop yourself. It's well, it's it's a tough question <laughs> because when I remember myself, I I uh, I had no idea what I want to do until the the fifth year of university when I started to to think that I want to be a. So university. how did you choose your course? What was your path to choose the university career that you have chosen? Uh, th that was this uh, this juggling, which which will um, later like showed me the the path because uh, it, it was all uh, it was all uh, connected with uh, with this that uh, when I do this later it came that somebody wanted to uh, to to learn this and I started to uh, to teach this so um, it's, it's now it's hard to say what people should do uh, I, I mean if if you want to be a lawyer it's uh, it's uh, okay. You have this path, uh, but um, but yeah. Now now I think, uh, but, but it's it's from my point of view that uh, even in 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 this uh, you know uh, in in today's world you you have to uh, show something uh, maybe more of yourself. Yeah. So even if you want to be a, a lawyer. So if you go uh, for some course uh, which will be totally different, uh, it can be your maybe advantage. It can be something that you can uh, show. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, still I, I'm I'm talking about uh, my ideas. So if you if you become you know a uh, uh, illusionist and uh, you will be a lawyer, so you can you can you know it can. Uh, 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 the uh, stand out. You can stand out, you yeah. Uh, uh, some sometimes when, when I do uh, when I'm talking about something at the conferences and I show uh, I show three balls and I juggle because I say okay, so we now will talk about three things which are very important uh, in our life. Uh, this, this, and this, and and you um, when you when you. Uh, when you you can uh, mix it, when you can uh, hold hold it, uh, your, you know, in, in your hands and uh, in the air at, at the same time. For example, I know family, career, and uh, leisure time, and you, you can manage to to do this uh, at the same time or uh, give give uh, the same amount of time. That's the best way. And then I I take these three balls and and I show this. Yeah. So uh, I use also, for example, magic to uh, to show how our brain works. Works. So, so uh, again, uh, there are a lot of people who uh, do trainings like me, but I, uh, I learned something. Uh, uh, I, uh, I can, I can use uh, my juggling, my magic. I can use my uh, my skills of uh, improvisation to uh, to stand out, to to do something else. And uh, I think in today's world, it's uh, it's very uh, important to to have something like this. So. Uh, so, so uh, now I'm thinking that uh, maybe uh, it's, it's also like uh, I, I remember what uh, Steve Jobs uh, said uh, in, in, in his uh, video and in his um, uh, bi biography uh, about this connecting the, the dots that uh, he started to, to, to go to the, the courses which uh, really uh, interested him. Uh, about the calligraphy, and then he found out that that he can make a uh, better uh, fonts. Uh, yeah, so so you, you you never know. So um, uh, I uh, I when I do the the trainings about creativity, I tell people go if you want to um, see you know the the wider point, uh, the wider uh, uh, horizon. 
go somewhere uh, which you will normally not go. I don't know if you are, uh, if you love, you know, metal music or rock music, go to the disco polo uh, concert and try to find what why these people love this. Yeah, or if wait, you... wait, 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 wait. There is a, a more or less hardcore <laughs> example. I think what you mean is a simple thing that we can do in our life. Each time we go back to to work or home. Use a different road. Yes, it's the same. Yes, yes, it's 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 very. Uh, I told the uh, yeah the hardest way, and uh, now now uh, <laughs> you know, changed me to the path of uh, of the easiest way. Yeah, try to find something else. Try to uh, try to go to the um, uh, Philharmonic for uh, for the um, uh, for the for the first time or for the first time since I don't know ten years. Or to the theater for something uh, which you normally would not go uh, and try get out of your box i'll get out of yes. your comfort zone yes. try something go. new experience life yeah and go go to the course of i don't know uh, making some uh, flowers or uh, something like this uh, go to the um, if, if you are for example uh, for me it very helped me because uh, before my uh, my burnout i, I was uh, very hectic and you know doing all the times so many things so then I uh, began to, to learn something totally different, like uh, breathing. I went to the course of, uh, the, for mindfulness and it was, my God, uh, it was so uh, great. It, it helped me and it uh, saved my life <laughs> uh, because of, um, um, of this, that uh, I, I really uh, uh, liked it and I slowed down, but I had never think that uh, I could, you know, breathe for 10 minutes and not getting angry that I do nothing. <laughs> so uh, try to do something which is, uh, and it was very hard for me, uh, you know, be before I, I, I laughed at uh, people who were, you know, doing meditation and so on. I said, I told them, hey, I had no time to, to do such stupid um, things. Now, uh, then I, I found that it's, it's, uh, it's very important. So. Uh, so try try to think uh, what is uh, maybe mm, funny for you or hard to to do, and uh, try to try to do it. Yeah, you you never know when it will uh, come back to you, and uh, you you will see that it's 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 very uh, it's very important. Okay, if uh, people say that the best uh, school is to learn from your own mistakes. But maybe you could give some advices or, or tell, talk, tell about uh, talk about your mistakes that you would um, tell students to to avoid them. Which mistakes would you tell yours? Which wait? How to, to to build the question? What would you suggest the students? The mistakes that you have done uh, at their mm -hmm. age that they can uh, avoid nowadays. Mm, maybe I will concentrate on, on the, mm, okay, I will start with the mistakes uh, during the, the university, but um, probably uh, I told about it. Uh, so uh, I, I started too late, I started too, uh, too late um, going to, uh, or, or taking part in some uh, university uh, um, ideas or uh, uh, wydarzeniach, uh, events, uh, yeah, so so like uh, conferences, but, but not on, well, first of all, going there, but also be a person who uh, help to do this, because then you get to know the people. So and go, go to some uh, uh, volunteer work at university or uh, in, in some, I don't know, foundation or somewhere else. Go, go to do something and make, uh, make connections. So uh, that was the mistake I, I made. And I started to do this uh, in the last year after uh, what I say, after I came back from my one year break. Uh, then I, in one year, I started to, to you know, to to do this. So that was a great mistake. And then uh, when I, when you, when you start to work, and uh, if you if you have your own company, uh, so the mistake I made, I was not taking care of my of myself. 
I was taking care of making success, business, money, and all of this shit, which appeared that uh, uh, that I I burned out very quickly. So um, and and it was funny because uh, I was uh, doing a lot of trainings about managing stress and emotions and and uh, uh, working against uh, burned out but i was doing all these trainings which uh, when i was very tired <laughs> and i was you know uh, on the on the edge of the of my own burnout and now i see it was so so crazy and so funny and so sad that the the one time that I was uh, teaching people something which I uh, I had no idea about uh, that that time. I uh, I was working because uh, uh, when we are young, when we are in the our twenties, we can do almost anything. I could not. Uh, I could sleep. You know, I could go uh, seven hundred um, kilometers, sleep two hours, and then. Uh, lead uh, uh, a great uh, eight hours training uh, with some managers and it was no problem but uh, finally our body will say hey bye bye <laughs> I, I i don't want to, to do this anymore and i and i couldn't uh, that, that was funny that i couldn't um, uh, i didn't know how to relax i thought that uh, uh, teaching, uh, I mean, learning or listening to podcasts or to, I know, when I was, for, for example, uh, uh, jogging, when I was running, I was listening to some, you know, um, podcasts and making some notes on my phone <laughs> because, you know, it's uh, uh, not not to uh, not to lose uh, my, my time. So uh, I have I had no idea how to relax and I uh, I started to, um, I, I lost a lot of um, contacts with my friends because I worked too much and I was always somewhere else. They were calling me, hey, there is a party today, will you come? And I said, no, 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 I do the trainings in Krakow or I do the trainings in Zakopane, you know, I'm a trainer or I, uh, I'm at the seaside doing some trainings, but so no, I will not come. And then they um, stopped calling me <laughs> because all the time I was working somewhere and I uh, it was work which uh, stayed with me and then you you know the rest of the story. So um, so for sure uh, this mistake is that um, I didn't know how to take care of my my body and my soul and uh, on uh, of the balance of uh, working uh, and uh, and life because uh, when you when you see you know your career when you see that it's going well and you can make some money we go we go we go there uh, so uh, for sure that's one of the of of my of my mistake probably in 10 years ago i would say something else but now i'm uh, 45 <laughs> yeah such um, such people can still live now I know uh, but uh, but so, so 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 for me the uh, the really precious uh, uh, learning uh, of, uh, of of my last year is that uh, when I started to do this uh, once time one once again I would really take care of myself, not to kill my body and uh, soul. OK, okay. Uh, it's, it all sounds very good. I would like to talk about your life, uh, about your work life, mm -hmm. uh, because you are the author of a book that is available that we encourage people to, to uh, get a glimpse, at least online, and then buy it and use it for marketing, psychology. Uh, yes, it, it, it appeared in the uh, marketing uh, Syria, but it's uh, well, it's it's about marketing about uh, maybe yourself. Uh, I wrote well now I see like four books. Uh, first, it was about unconventional method of trainings, so it will it was all about uh, juggling and other stuff. It it was all my ADHD about you know. Um, uh, learning uh, different things. Then it was um, 
book about uh, metaphors and analogies uh, all together with Pavel Fortuna. Then it was uh, also with Pavel uh, passion for juggling when we collected all the things about juggling. And and now and and then it was like uh, well uh, almost almost like nine or ten years of break and and now we had uh, um, a book which is called um, Story Talking and this uh, this is about uh, narration uh, uh, and this is a book for for leaders for for teachers for uh, for uh, for uh, for managers for directors for for people who uh, talk to groups who leads uh, some groups and this is i think uh, 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 the uh, for example, for, for sure, uh, at, at this moment, this is the book of my life because I collected all my uh, um, all my uh, experiences about about uh, what I do. So uh, this is about uh, how to talk to people to get their attention, to um, to. Uh, uh, to to concentrate on you, but it's uh, so. But it's also about how to talk to people uh, with stories. Not only you should do this or this, or if you should not do this or this, you will be like this or this. But but you can uh, tell them something uh, using your stories, using uh, your experiences, but also using uh, some uh, maybe anecdotes you will find or some case studies or maybe interesting uh, experiments, uh, psychology or some uh, other science experiments. Um, and uh, this is what I really love uh, because it's uh, it's very um, the talking to people with uh, your story, it's, it's it's talking about the the truth. When now I I, I realize that uh, I told you know uh, like three or four stories during this uh, interview about my my uh, my, my first uh, failure with the workshop at the university about my uh, my travel uh, each hiking and, and and some other things. So um, yeah, I, I really love it, and I now I feel very comfort in, in my life because uh, this is uh, what I do. So I mm, now at the moment uh, mostly I, I work with the mm, leaders, with the managers or with the, uh, with the uh, leaders of the companies and I, I help them to, uh, to, to prepare them for some uh, speeches for the, for the, I don't know, for their uh, uh, teams or for for the um, for some conferences so uh, I talk with them and I gather their uh, stories and I I mix it or I I try to uh, fill their speeches with uh, I try to 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 put everything in good uh, connection and in good uh, place what would you say is the peak of your development? Do you see the point on the horizon or are you all, maybe you are already there? Uh, I would say I'm uh, now when I when I was writing uh, uh, this book. Uh, I realized that it's uh, really it's it's new beginning and because uh, I do uh, uh, what I told that uh, I, I work with uh, the leaders like since uh, seven or eight years but but my God uh, every every year every month uh, every book I'm I'm reading I'm finding some new ideas stories or anecdotes I see that it's uh, it's uh, all the time it starts because during the uh, the book I found so many interesting facts about narrative about uh, uh, narrative therapy about um, uh, all the places where uh, stories and uh, narration is used that uh, I see that there is so huge amount of possibilities that I would say that again I'm at the <laughs> again I'm at the beginning uh, I mean that uh, I can 
the the speeches I was um, helping to prepare for some other people. Uh, now I'm doing this uh, 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 a lot better, but uh, now I'm sure I can say in five years I will say uh, this uh, again that uh, after five years I will say yeah now I'm at the beginning because I see something more. So um, so I'm sure that uh, if uh, and this storytelling is is a breathing for me because after this burnout I I'm really I was worried about what um, I was uh, I was worried because I had no power to to do anything else I had no power to do the trainings I was um, I was afraid of uh, I was I was too tired of, of everything, but now I have a new. Uh, I, I call it a new brief. I call it a new uh, because this what I do now is it's not um, uh, uh, it's it's now it's authentic and it's uh, it, it's it's creative. So uh, how did uh, you realize? I'm sorry, but I have to interrupt mm. you. How did you realize that? You are at the bad point in your life that you are experiencing a burnout because you said that you were teaching other people how mm. to develop, how to avoid, uh, how to be creative, how to avoid burnout. At which stage uh, or what was the, the situation that you realized that you are actually uh, experiencing the burnout yourself? Mm. Oh, there were a few things. I, I mean, I had all uh, there are three points of uh, burnout or three maybe not points the three uh, 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 features. Three, three features. features. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there are three things the three features of burnout first that you, you are tired all the time and yeah uh, I felt uh, I, I'm tired and uh, but but I think the um, the, the thing I uh, I found out uh, because uh, another one is that uh, you uh, started to uh, treat people not like your friends and helpers, but they are just annoying you that uh, it's too many of them and you know they are still uh, they are not not people you want to talk uh, with and talk about but uh, you, you just want to avoid them and another one it was that you started to think whether you you know anything uh, about uh, what you do so you you start to uh, decrease your um, potential and you started to think about yourself that uh, probably you, you, you know nothing about the world and about work uh, you do and uh, and I found that uh, the first thing it was that I had uh, enough of the people uh, I mean uh, I didn't want to um, later I didn't want to go to these parties which uh, my friends were asking me to, to go because I wanted to be alone. I wanted to to stay alone and to uh, to rest. Uh, well, but I couldn't rest. So, so it was you know vicious circle. Uh, but but that that was the point that um, I uh, I was not happy with uh, what I'm doing. So uh, my my idea, my uh, vision, my mission was to work with people and help them to to to, to become better uh, people. And uh, uh, I started having uh, hard times with uh, with doing this. I, I didn't want to do it um, anymore. I didn't uh, like the people uh, anymore because they were uh, the root of my <laughs> of my burnout. So uh, now now it's again um, uh, totally different. So I, I uh, find I, I find myself and uh, still I'm doing what I like and I like people again. But that's also the, the mistake I made that uh, if I work too much, I, I didn't see that it's coming, uh, that, some, that I'm too tired to, um, to, uh, to carry on uh, more and more. Yeah. Now I, I see you, but I, I feel like you're frozen. Hello, hello. Hello. 
please tell me if if it's my my computer that there's some mistake or I think I'm back. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't know uh, if it's my problem with the computer or. I think it's the something went bad in university. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, summing up, because the the, the whole. Uh, I'm not summing up. I would like you also to to give uh, advice to the students because you said that you were meeting people, that you were involved in different activities, in different events. But you were also saying about reading books. What recently books, two or three maybe, uh, you read that you found really um, inspiring in general and you would recommend for the students to read it? Okay, uh, so um, I'll find out uh, in a moment if I want to give you the, the names of the books, but uh, one thing which uh, I really love about the books now. I hated it before, so I hated biographies. I thought, my God, it's it must be one of the most boring books. Uh, how can people read about somebody else's lives and uh, and have fun with it and uh, want to you know keep on reading this? And uh, until I uh, become uh until i uh, fall in love with uh, with storytelling because in biographies you have you have a, a great uh, opportunities to to find some stories so uh, uh, first of all and then you you can find uh, in the biographies uh, how how other people cope with their fears that with their i don't know uh, uh uh, goals and, and so on and so on. So uh, for me, uh, the great thing is uh, biographies, and I would recommend to uh, to, to, to read it. Uh, uh, recently, I, I received uh, my God, it's so so big biography of uh, Elon Musk uh, by by uh, Isaac Watson. That's the guy who, who wrote the uh the biography of Steve Jobs. I, I read it as well, and it was very good uh, as well. Uh, but uh, also by this author, uh, I read, uh, or it was audiobook uh, about Leonardo da Vinci. Oh my God! And uh, for sure, uh, I recommend this book, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, by. Uh, let me see. Uh, yes, it's uh, Walter Isaacson, and he wrote the. Um, the biography of uh, Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, and I think Benjamin Franklin, or something like this. Uh, but um, the uh, the book about Leonardo, uh, not DiCaprio, but Da Vinci, I I, I recommend you uh, for sure. Uh, da Vinci was so crazy in person that uh, we 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 know we know him about only about the uh, the paintings, but. He was so crazy that he uh, he wanted to do so many things that oh my god, uh, great uh, great book and he was interesting. Uh, th this is funny because when we are talking about uh, the open, the in uh, interest in some other things, so he was interesting in so crazy things. He he was uh, he wanted to uh, to know how the, uh, to uh, to find out how the birds are uh, flying or uh, he wanted to. Uh, to know uh, how uh, birds are uh, talking with uh, themselves, so s such crazy things that, or why people are uh, coughing, I don't know, no, he, or why the sky is blue. So, you know, he, he was <laughs> in the beginning of all the inventors and uh, all the ideas. So uh, this is one uh, one of the book. Uh, I, uh, uh, I read a, a lot of books about uh, some um, crazy uh, uh, things like about uh, uh, last oh uh, another book uh, but I must find it mm -hmm. 
Oh, I, I didn't find it, but but I found the uh, um, I found the um, the author, uh, and he's called uh, Alex uh, Alex Bose B O E S E, and he he's uh, writing about some also crazy stuff. So uh, lately, I I read uh, a book about uh, fake news uh, since. Um, like uh, through the the whole ages, but he also uh, wrote a book about uh, crazy about crazy uh, science uh, uh, p -p 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 science. Uh, I'm losing the the words in English about the science experiments, and it's about really crazy experiments. So it's all about the um, the things uh, uh, which for me uh, as a storyteller uh, are very helpful. But lately I, I uh, read a book, uh, now it will be more serious, uh, uh, of uh, Edith Egger and uh, the book is called uh, The Choice. Uh, and uh, this is um, uh, a woman who survived uh, um, two or three um, concentration camps. And this woman, Edith Egger, and uh, Viktor Frankl. Viktor Frankl is my uh, my uh, let's say maybe not God, not idol, but but uh, really I, I admire him because uh, Edith Egger and Viktor Frankl is is uh, talking about this that we every time we have choice in our life, and they are survivors of uh, concentration camps. And they 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 did something with their lives. I mean, they uh, they said to themselves that uh, even doing such uh, horrible uh, experience, uh, experiencing uh, such horrible things like uh, concentration camps doesn't uh, need to be uh, uh, useless. And they they started to help people uh, to help to find their meanings in lives and goals in lives and um, and this is that we always have the the choice uh, what we want to do we always have the 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 choice uh, where we want to switch our path of our uh, i don't know career and so on and so on and i think maybe it's uh, also good 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 uh, summing up that uh, even if you don't know what to do now or if you start doing something you always have the the choice to 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 change your life and change your uh, career. I think it's a perfect summary of what we have discussed and what you have said. Uh, thank you for all the experience and the stories that you have uh, given us. I encourage uh, I encourage people to to go through your books uh, and through your LinkedIn profile because it's also quite ins inspiring to find more, more information about you and your job. Especially, I, I recommend uh, students go and check what is the Improv the Theater. This is the project that Milek is also involved in. I partly know some, some of your colleagues from, from this uh, team. And this is to top of the top, uh, to be honest. Uh, thank you. For, for we, we, we'll, be, yeah. we'll be playing uh, 19th of January at the uh, restaurant uh, Kulturalna in, in Lublin. So 19th of January, 7 o'clock. Uh, you're welcome.